Hello, 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 and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take trees into Unreal Engine. Uh, wrong thing. So I have some trees already here. Like that. And each of these trees is a little different. So this one's just a sapling tree gen tree with its uh, normals modified and the uh, UVs reset for the leaves and the leaves I made pretty thick and chunky. So this is pretty much what you'll kind of get out of my other video with this is sans materials. This is pretty much the same thing but what I did was I went to the geometry nodes and I spawned a, a leaf object. And my leaf object is basically a plane intersecting with another plane and another plane. So three planes intersecting each other to kind of give off multiple directions you can look at to give the tree more volume and more more floof and this last tree is pretty different it's a uh what it was was some uh round cubes i i sculpted out and then what i did was for each face i added a plane using geometry nodes and these planes all face outwards so this I think might have the least amount of planes, but they're not, they're more looking as a rounded shape rather than like a scruff ball like these ones. Scruff ball. So I'm going to take these trees into Unreal Engine. So let's start with um, this one. Export FBX. Uh, and I'm going to, yeah, let me check a minute. Um, I'll just do uh, smoothing. I'm going to set the face and then tangent space. I'm going to click. I'm not exactly sure what that does in all honesty, but from the tutorials I've watched, it seemed useful. So we're going to start with this tree. It's a yawn, a switch, big switch. Pray it doesn't crash. I've imported so many trees into this project and like undid them or re-exported them that I think the project might be having a tree stroke. Okay. Where was I? Wait a minute. Here's here's a weird block out. Environment design is hard, so I just spend all my time blocking out or. <laughs> Weeping. Uh, where am I? Uh, this one. Make sure you have normal import method to import normals and tangents and turn off compute weighted normals. And I didn't. Are you okay? Ah. Okay, let me let me check to make sure I did this right. Okay, yes, I have, uh, make sure you're, uh, you have separate materials for your trunk. Bark. 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 Yeah, this doesn't work because I didn't have the proper UVs for my bark, but it's fine. So, let's chunk the tree in. It, it doesn't look too bad. But let's, let's make a material for it. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Perfect name. So, let's get started. So first we're going to want to go to blend mode and switch that to masked. This will let us use a, a opacity mask to define our leaf shape. Go from chain mode, go to two-sided foliage. Some people choose not to do this. I guess because it makes more clutter. But I'm just going to use it for now and hit two sided. So let's start by hitting T for texture sample. And I'm assuming everyone already has a leaf alpha. You'll need that. You'll plug that into mask. I'm going to hit one. That's a shortcut for a single value. I'm going to duplicate it with control V. Plug the top one into metallic and spectacular. Input one for this one. I don't this because I don't want shiny leaves. Shiny leaves, no good. 
Now we have since we have a two sided leaf, what we're gonna do is need to do is do uh right click type in two sided two sided sign. We're gonna type in hit three and set blue to one. This is just telling us that we want both sides of our, our leaf to have ultimate power or basically same direction, make them face the same direction. If in terms of normals, I believe. And I'm going to hit three again. Nah, make it a red tree. Red. No, no, not that one. No, 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 don't crash. Don't crash. Okay. Okay. Um, I broke that. Oh, I forgot. I can't see my mouse when I'm using the recorder. Uh, Sam, cute mat. You know, I'm gonna just manually do it over here. Uh, burr, burr. Except the thing is, when you can't see, okay, there it is. B. So, uh, this is what tree one looks like. Doesn't look half bad. If your shadows look wonky, it might be the anti-aliasing or something. I think you might have to adjust that in the project settings, but that looks pretty good. Sometimes what you might need to do is if the shadows are too dark, you can take an M, multiply M, and then do like point 0.2, and plug this into the emissive. So it will basically take a darker version of your color to use to slightly give it a glow. But with the problem with that is that if you have any night scene, then your tree will be glowing. So that's tree one. I'm going to eat that to the side. And let's see. Real quick. Make sure all the uh, select. What I charge you? Fuck. Sign and then invert the selection. The sign is that one. And I'm just plugging in random materials here, just because I don't want to accidentally have the uh, tree. Um, put FBX. Gonna give this another name. Setting should be the same. Port. Please don't crash on me. Unreal likes to do that. It looks like it might have. Oop, nope, nope, nope. There it goes. I'm going to just plug in the same material. Don't die. Well, okay. There it goes. Bark. Too much, too much power. Now, what you'd want to do with a tree with this much foliage is create a level of detail. So you'll have a couple different versions of the tree with less and less leaves and less and less detail. I think, ooh, yeah, I like the the way the one that this one looks from afar. It's got that more that blobbiness to it. So I definitely think the the leaf bundles definitely help capture it better. That, that actually looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. And now it's time to try our last trees. I'm just gonna hit control S and save. No, I'm probably gonna delete those trees. Ah! Wrong thing. Okay. Real quick. Same thing. Fine. And then plunk, plunk another one in. Select invert. I was like wondering what that little was. It's just a rogue branch. Okay. One more. Mm. 
That one didn't take that long because it didn't have that many leaves. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that one doesn't look as good. What this one needs is a, it needs like an underlayer. Oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> some of the trees, some of the leaves have bark on them. Well, okay. Uh, what you need for a tree like this is that you would need to either uh, really expand the size of the plane. So let's let's do that. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Select all by tree. This geometry assign. And then uh, it's already ah. Okay, right, no. okay. Sign and scale it that. And then you will have the um. First of all, uh, separate just because it's easier to reapply the normal edit. Normal edit. Normal edit. Okay. Uh, shade smooth. Are you okay? The normals. Uh, normals. Calculate outside. Okay, that fixed those. For FBX. And then hopefully, sometimes re importing this stuff breaks everything so we'll see we'll see if it kills unreal engine if it does then oh well that's sad nope it didn't okay yeah there we go that looks better ah, da, da, da. so here's three different stylized trees for you i think this one's my favorite over here although this one i admit is probably the one that will kill your computer the most but uh just because it's uh supposed to be simplified and it shapes and forms in appearance you see how it's like you don't really see the individual leaves instead you see the clumps that doesn't mean it's gonna be low poly <laughs> and you know what this might actually fix my tree problem because I, I mean up close it does kind of look a little rough but far away it actually looks pretty nice and i don't i always put way too much effort in trees I think they're the building blocks of environments and therefore they're important. But in reality, I don't think anyone's going to be staring at a tree for that long. Well, uh, this has been Little Puff Puff. I hope this video was helpful and not too fast. If you would like a guide on how to make uh, this tree and this one over here, let me know. I think this one is pretty much the same you'll get in the other video. I don't know, it's been like two years since I made that, so I don't remember. This, uh, yeah, this is Lumen Puff Puff. Like and subscribe and comment and do all the things because, yeah. Bye! But look at the water, it's nice. Okay, bye! <laughs>